welcome back to the vlog. No. Vlog. Vlog. I have got a pimple in my eyebrow that is driving me crazy and it won't heal. Look at this. It's, uh, and pencil clings to it and it's right where I need to fill in because it's right where I have a bald patch in my brow. So that's fine. Anyway, I am uh, drinking matcha. Look at this. Straight up real matcha. Not a little tea bag that says matcha on it, but actual whisk it up matcha. It's just with hot water and uh, put a teeny bit of stevia in there. I think of red honey is really good in it, but I just I didn't have any honey. <laughs> anyway, I'm uh, actually getting ready to film just a talking part of a video and I need to throw some makeup on. I'm also going with my sister to get my nails done today. So I thought I'd just dip into the uh, who to Toffee Brown and hang out with you for a minute while I get ready, because why not? I've kind of taken a little blogging break. Blog I keep saying blogging. Vlogging break, just because, well, I didn't feel good for a little while there. I was kind of feeling yucky. And then, um, got busy. Not, like, really busy. <laughs> and, I don't know. Just wasn't feeling it, man. It happens. But, uh, anyways, we're back at it today. Feeling a little more like myself. Just having a little uh, digestive issues. <sighs> Fun. <laughs> but I've been helping my friend move. This last weekend, we uh, cleaned the house and got it all ready to bring all her stuff in. And she is going this weekend to Dallas to get all her stuff from a storage unit and bring it here. And I was supposed to go with them, but the way my stomach has been kind of... Uh, I didn't trust my tummy. I also don't have a great... Um, grip on my anxiety right now so I did not want to travel. I was afraid I was gonna have a panic attack and be in Dallas you know and not be home. I It was just giving me panic attacks to think about traveling. And it's not even that far. It's five hours right? Not even that. I don't know. I was just feeling real not good about going somewhere. I don't know. I get that happens sometimes with my anxiety. I don't like to travel. It makes me really nervous and if I'm already in a anxious place, especially going somewhere without my husband with me, I get real, real uh, panicky. Do I have separation anxiety? Am I a child? Yes, I am. I am basically a child. But anyway, I just didn't want to, I didn't feel like I could handle a <laughs> drive, a car ride, and being away for a day. Like they were going and then staying a night and coming back home, but now they'd want to go out and, you know, do stuff while they're there the night they're there, and I just, mm. I'm having trouble with crowds lately and like just going anywhere. <laughs> it's, it's a problem, but I do have a doctor's appointment next week. Hopefully I can get some help there. But I don't really like to talk about that kind of stuff. I know you probably, I probably should and it would maybe help other people to be open about that kind of thing, but it's just not a subject I enjoy talking about or dwelling on because it, I feel like to me sometimes can exacerbate it. <laughs> Sometimes it makes me feel better to get it all out. Sometimes it's the opposite. Right now it's, I just don't wanna talk about it. Anyway, I'm pretty sure that's what's affecting my tummy <laughs> because I, I know they go hand in hand. But today I'm just gonna focus on today, which is going to get my nails done. And I think friends should be back from Dallas this afternoon and they're gonna be unpacking and I might go there and help kind of put things where they go and then tomorrow afternoon, I think we're gonna kind of sort what room things need to go in and kind of start to unpack a little bit and just go through things. Cause she doesn't even remember what's in there. This stuff's been in storage almost 10 years. <laughs> she, she moved here to take care of her dad for just a little while, 10 years later. <laughs> She's still here now, it's like a job and bought a house and everything. But she had left her stuff in storage, you know, just temporarily, still had her house and everything over there and she sold her house here for last. Man, she should have waited and sold now. She probably would have made bank because her house is in a pretty nice area, or was rather, it was in the Frisco Plano area. Pretty dang nice from what I've seen of it. That would be the ideal area of Dallas to live in to me is the, like the Frisco area. It just looks very convenient and yet kind of a little bit more of a suburb vibe too. I've always wanted to uh, live in Dallas. That's like, that's where I want to like retire is <laughs> Dallas. <laughs> Convenience. And everything, you know, I don't know. We'll have to see how, after like COVID, get me the fuck out of the city. <laughs> Let me live in the country where nobody bothers you. You're really kind of left alone and uh, used to being a little more secluded. And I'm not really in the country as it is. I'm pretty, 
I think people from cities would consider this country, but it's a metro area <laughs> at the same time. It's a pretty uh, big area. It's grown up a lot in the last few years. I mean, we've got standalone Starbucks. Our city apparently won some kind of award. This isn't the city I reside in, but it's the, like the twin city that's like our major city. I'm in the suburbs. But um, it won an award <laughs> called the Rotten Apple Award for basically just being shitty. <laughs> I was like, hot oh, damn. And I think it's about like not preserving historical stuff and letting things get dilapidated. Yeah. The city is definitely bad about that. Like they try downtown. They have done a hell of a lot of work downtown and made it actually really nice. And they're bringing in some more restaurants and shops and stuff there in the coming year, I read. But <sighs> COVID kind of undid a lot of the work that had happened downtown with the new businesses and restaurants and people going out and we couldn't have any of the festivals and stuff. So it was really a kick in the pants for central Louisiana there. But <laughs> I thought it was kind of funny they won that award. I was like, yeah, it's about right. I'm doing like an elaborate eye look or anything. I'm just uh, playing. And I didn't, I've already got my camera like set up to film film. <laughs> I'm doing like my vlog mode. That just didn't feel like it. Cause I feel like I would forget to switch it over. I'm not doing anything too elaborate here on the eyes and just putting some color on. A little something something for filming. I don't have all the time in the world to be farting around, which I keep forgetting. That we usually go around noon to get our nails done because that's when the nail salon opens. And I like to beat the crowd because it can get quite hectic in there. And I feel like when it's busy, they don't do as good a job because they're rushing. Like last time I got my nails done, not this time, but the last time, all my nails were lifting. Two of them popped off. It was just really, really bad. <laughs> like they, I don't, I don't know what happened. They just weren't well done. Like just like that day, like I looked at them, I was like, there's something not right here. Like they're starting to peel underneath. Like it was just not a, a good experience. And I was like, Ugh, you know, <laughs> cause I had such a good run with this salon previously. Like they've done great. One of the best ones I've gone to. And I was like, oh, this is like, you know, how it normally goes for me. It's shitty product or something. I don't know what went wrong. But I just know I had a ton of lifting, so they had to remove that entire set last time I was there. And the one of the nails that had popped off, it hurt, and it was sore, and they kept fucking with it. <laughs> and I'm like, quit trying to file that nail, please. The bare nail that's hardly there because the nail peeled off and took half my nail with it. Can you quit trying to dremel it? Or quit trying to e-file that nail? My fingers hurt so bad after that. Like the next day. It hurt to type. <laughs> just the one finger, but it hurt. <laughs> I don't know why that one popped off and it just really was sore. And then they kept trying to prep the nail. And two people come prep there. I said, I told them, I was like, no, she already prepped the nail gently. Like one girl was so gentle and she was really nice. And I told her like, this one's really sore. Can we just, you know, if you got to prep anything at the, you know, at the bottom, clamp the cue, can you do it with a hand file and not the e-file? She said, sure. No problem. So she had it done. Here comes somebody else. And they whip out the freaking e-file. And I'm like, no, she already prepped it. And I have to do No, you don't. <laughs> like, I almost... Uh, it was not a fun experience. But he did a fantastic job on the nails themselves. They redeemed themselves. And the nails are, like, fantastic this time. Anyway. <laughs> he did such a good job on building the nail, though. I was like, damn it. <laughs> I'm coming back to you. And I think he was trying to make up for everything and like really taking his time and did a great job on them. And I could tell, see his face when he was looking at the nails from like last time. He's just like, oh no. Like he was disappointed in them. And he, he wasn't the one that did them. It was the person who did them is usually the one that I love. The nail tech that's my favorite. And uh, I don't know what was, if she was just distracted or what. But I usually love this girl doing my nails because she's fast and she's very efficient and neat and they usually come out perfect and she's very gentle. I have very sensitive like nail plates anyway and I'm very an anxious person. I tense up the whole time. I'm probably the worst client to work on. Like I never actually complain or anything but I they can tell that I'm uncomfortable I think because I can feel the tension in my hand and every now and then I'll say like ouch or something like that. I'm like, I don't know what I'm thinking trying to apply that with a brush. It's a hood eyeshadow. I just want some nice little sparkle on the lid. Nothing too elaborate. I guess I could use my sponge tip. 
but I mean, these nails held up so well this time, like helping someone move and clean. Like I was cleaning out drawers and kitchen stuff and like really doing a lot. And I was like, damn, I'm going to destroy these nails. No, they did fine. They held up fine. And I was so kind of tickled with that. I'm like, see, this is the quality I expect <laughs> and the quality I'm used to from the salon. They usually are just fantastic and the, one of the best salons that I've gone to locally for sure. And I've gone to quite a few of them and tried them out just to see if there's one that's maybe, you know, better quality work or can do like maybe custom nail forms. No one does nail forms around here. I ask and they're just like, huh? Or no, we, we don't do that. They look at me like I'm crazy. Like I have weird little fingers and my nails are kind of funny shaped sometimes. Or, you know, and I think a nail form would probably be the better way to go for my fingers so they could custom fit a little better. Because I think that was why I was having some of the breakdown issues I used to have was because the nails just didn't fit. The tips that they would put on just didn't fit my fingers. But, um, I mean, this guy, though, he actually managed to make this nail not hook. That's my biggest pet peeve is sometimes this, when I do my pointer fingers, they hook down and he sculpted it so well that it just, it was flat. Thank God. <laughs> this is why I like that guy. He can do them very straight and very meticulous, but I think he's not quite as gentle as the the other person I like to do my nails. That's the only downside is that he's just a little bit rougher. Like I prefer him just to sculpt and do that in part and not do the prep. And there's another girl I like to do, <laughs> like how she preps my nails. She's way more, she's very, very gentle. My friend, Chandra, she does her own, her own acrylic and, and gel and everything. Like she has a full salon in her house, but she is like four hours away from me or three hours away. I was like, girl, I'm coming down there and get my nails done. You can, you can do mine. And she's just really kind of started doing it. Like the uh, tips and everything and nail forms and the you know sculpting gel and stuff and she is fantastic like she has a natural skill for it that I do not possess I am awful at doing my own nails like I could paint them and it took me years to get good at that like I'm just not good at little detail things like that and she really is I mean she's got a full it looks like a full-on nail salon in her spare room now I like guess kind of like their den she's turned it into a craft room slash nail room it's amazing. She showed it to me over uh, FaceTime, and I was just like, oh my gosh, <laughs> I want to come play, and you do my nails. <laughs> so, update on the uh, living room and my redecorating and all that. I have not finished. <laughs> it looks exactly the same as the last time I spoke to you, because we had company coming into town, and there was just a lot going on. I just didn't really have time. And then I got my new computer and I fell into a Sims 4, just hole, a black hole of playing Sims 4. And then I did some editing and knew I had to keep up my regular work too. So I think next weekend I'm going to work on doing some decorating and stuff and try to get the living room finished up. But I did get my new computer, which is awesome. It is amazing. It is a beast. I can edit in four, edit my 8K and 4K video. Nothing. It just zooms right through. I don't have to make proxy files. I can get work done so much faster, which is awesome because that's one of the things that's had such a hold up with having to make proxies and it wasn't so much the editing that was taking long, a long time as all the other stuff was taking a while, like just the prep work. Background tasks like making the proxies, getting this ready, this and that. Now I can just zoom through a video and have it edited in no time. It exports way quicker. You know, it's a uh, it takes like maybe 10 minutes to export where it used to take like 30. It's incredible. I'm so pleased with it. It is heavy though. It weighs, I think nine pounds is what they said it weighs. It feels like 12. <laughs> I feel like I could do deadlifts with it. It's so heavy. And it's got two power supplies. <laughs> That's how powerful it is. It has two power supplies to it. But it's still like easy to move from room to room because it's a laptop. It's not like it's a burden and it has good battery life on it too. I looked at getting like a, a MacBook or something else but for the price and the components of what this one had I could get more bang for my buck I think with the Alienware and 
I'm a PC girl anyway. I prefer PC over a uh, Mac any day. Like I've used a Mac and I didn't hate it, but I don't, I just, I'm not an Apple person. I've always been PC, but when I'd work, I would work on a Mac computer at a, the shop, which I didn't mind. It really wasn't that hard to figure. I wouldn't like that much difference. It was just for the price. And it, I just feel like it was a very value with the, uh, the Alienware. And I got like my dream computer. Whereas I think with the Mac one, I feel like I would have to cut corners or something with it. And I'm not familiar with the inner workings of a Mac and like the hardware components and all that side of it. Whereas with a PC, I know basically what everything is and how to buy one and all that. <laughs> so that was a, that was a whole thing. All right, I'm going to get my face makeup on here and finish listening to this video I was watching. And yeah, I'll see you guys in just a minute. Oh, good morning. I didn't realize how bright it was outside. My goodness. It's so bright. It hurts my eyes. It was, I think I did them like the most natural brow I've ever done today. I'm kind of proud of it. And I just did a, a little bit of protect and perfect on my skin and a tiny bit of concealer and a ton of SPF today. And I used like a touch of the cream side of the Patrick Ta blush duo. And uh, do we know her? It came out kind of pretty. It was nice. I put a little uh, flawless filter on the uh, cheekbones. It's already so hot and it's only 8 a.m. Oh, and on the lips is Christy by Pat McGrath. And I um, use a, the Clio mascara. I think this is the super curling one because it's like really waterproof. And oh, I hear some angry dogs barking. It's the angry boys. There's two corgis that walk in our neighborhood. They're like really small. They're puppies still. And I call them the angry boys. <laughs> Because they just fuss and bark and they will try to chase cars and they're on leashes, but they are like vicious little things. But uh, yeah, I've got my matcha here, ready to go. I think I put too much matcha. Like, I feel like I can chew it. <laughs> yeah, my uh, overdid the matcha in today's drink. It's said to use one tablespoon. That's what's in there. And I, whew, it's a lot. It's very, very stout. <laughs> I think I was trying to vlog last night. I, I think the, the footage, you're probably not gonna be able to hear any of it. So I'm just gonna kind of insert the footage and tell you what was going on and what I was talking about. But I cooked squash last night for the first time. I, I think I've eaten squash once. And that was when my husband's mom made it. And she did like kind of a mash with it with like sugar and did kind of a sweet type of thing. And it was really, really good. My grandma used to make that. I would never eat it. I don't know if that's just maybe just like a Southern thing to do. I mean, it's, uh, I would never eat it when my uh, grandma would make it, but his mom made it and I ate some uh, about like a year ago and I was like, oh, I actually like this. This is pretty good. All this time. Anyway, so last night I just sauteed the squash though with some butter and some salt, a little tiny bit of salt. I don't know. I don't know how to really cook squash. That was my uh, sister told me that's the way she cooks it. So, and you know what? It was really good. <laughs> really enjoyed it but we ended up with like a huge walmart bag full of squash that uh somebody had brought to my husband's work they were really good they're like kind of hearty tasting i enjoyed it and i did some hamburgers in the air fryer so we had burgers and squash for dinner and i think tonight we are um i don't know what we're gonna do for dinner because we're gonna go to my dad's for father's day and i'm gonna bring him his air fryer which i got him one I think it's the newer model of the one that I have and it just has like knobs so it's you know two it has like a timer and then a temperature control it's like super easy to use I thought that's the best thing for him because it's simple and he can cook his fried potatoes in it that he loves so much and burgers and it's just kind of perfect for him and my stepmom to cook in without having to make a huge mess and smell up the house with the fried potatoes because that, that's like his favorite meal ever is fried potatoes I should have bought a bag of potatoes to go with it. If I have time to stop at the store today, I might do that. <laughs> I'm pretty excited about getting that though. I think he's going to enjoy it. We got the nails done. A little bit longer this time than last time. I'm, I keep like, getting longer and longer. He's like, you want to trim them down? I'm like, nah. Um, they're a vibe. I'm digging it. But uh, he was, there was a little bit of lifting on this one, right? Then he was going to trim it off and the whole nail just went, I'm out, bitch. I'm out. So he ended up trimming the nail down because it was kind of grown out. And my pointer fingers, they grow like that. And so he built a platform, like sculpted a platform out of acrylic, like formed it up to uh, 
compensate for that. So now it goes straight like it's supposed to. And I was like, this is genius. Thank you so much. Because this one he did straight already. But that one he was just, he sculpted it without using a tip or anything because he was just doing the one nail. And hell yeah, I love when they do that. But anyways, it was a much better nail experience this week. Last week was rough. That was not fun. I think it's just because these nails are really sensitive anyways. The, my pinky and my ring finger are very tender. Always. They just tend to be a little bit thinner than all my other nails. So it's like the whole time I'm, and I'm such a, a cringe the whole time I'm getting my nails done. I'm like the worst client because I'm the one that's sitting there going, uh, and like tensing up waiting for it to hurt that's what i do and this is like a one of those like magnet ones that does like a cat's eye effect or a galaxy effect i don't know if you can actually see the shift in there it's really pretty it's got like some purple glitter in it and the the black color is actually like a really incredibly dark purple that or rather a black with a purple undertone and it, i think it's really pretty it complements this one really well and i was like cool cool anyways today i'm going to help lila get her house finish sorting her house out and getting things kind of arranged and clean and all that we're just gonna keep her company you know and i've got me a yogurt to eat for my lunch packed with me i've had my smoothie this morning and yep that's what my day entails and i will try to like remember to actually vlog and like take you around my day Get back in the habit of this. Are you looking at my shirt, by the way? Yep. I know you're jealous of this one. You got the ultimate warrior, Macho Man Randy Savage. Ooh. I mean, it's my my two favorite right there, Ultimate Warrior and Macho Man Randy Savage. Best wrestlers ever. Don't at me. <laughs> Okay, well, The Undertaker is pretty cool, too. I'll check it later. <laughs> back home <laughs> it was so hot today and miserable oh my goodness even with the air conditioner full blast it's just <sighs> the heat index is 100 yeah so worked up a good sweat cleaning i uh did some vacuuming <laughs> and sweeping and mopping the bedrooms getting them ready to bring stuff in and we kind of started unpacking stuff for the kitchen made a lot of progress today the stove is back together yeah now we're just seeing what all she needs for the house and went through all the stuff that she, you know brought back from storage and turns out it looks like some of her boxes got swapped with someone else's that was uh renting her house and they had mix matched some of it, their boxes with her boxes so we found boxes and boxes of this vintage corningware dishes that I looked online, like on eBay, and found them going for a lot of money. <laughs> and there's so much of it, so much. Like, like on eBay and Etsy, stuff's going for like twenty dollars a plate. And oh shit, she's got a lot. So yeah, so she doesn't have her dishes, but she's got all that. So I feel like that might be a a fair trade. <laughs> so just sell that on Facebook Marketplace or something and buy you some new dishes. And uh, yeah, anyway, that's what we've been up to. I am currently doing some laundry at home now and about to post a vlog as a bonus video. I decided to make vlogs just bonus videos on the weekend because eh, I think they'll just be like a little Sunday bonuses. I like my brows today, by the way. I was fighting a brow pimple and that's why they look the way they do. And then I have a pimple on this brow too. Go me. But yeah, I'm gonna get this video uploaded to go up today and then or not upload but just to basically put the title in and description box 
and yeah waiting for some laundry in the dryer to finish up go to my dad's and give him his father's day present and this coming week's gonna be kind of a hectic week i got doctor's appointment i gotta meet with a lawyer to do some paperwork um just where a document fell through the cracks so i have to sign something and get notarized gotta get witnesses so that's all on wednesday and then our friend is coming into town on wednesday as well and then i think what else is going on wednesday or this week friday in-laws are coming and yeah and lots more helping with the moving and the getting things set up my lens is dirty there was the bed lighting in here i don't know but yeah it's gonna be a busy week my hip is killing me i've like pulled something in my hip I, I get cricks in my neck a lot and I feel like I have a crick in my hip. <laughs> Did I do that? Did I somehow manage that? It's, oh, she hurts. It's like, at first I was like panicking. I was like, what is that? What is this pain in my side? No, it's my hip. Because when I move, I can feel it and it's like, I think I angered this shoulder because the way I've been sitting here at my desk is weird and different and kind of awkward because I don't have a permanent like workstation yet really. And I was sitting way low down and my desk was like up here. So I was sitting like this. So my shoulders started hurting. And it was like, I swear it went down to my hip. And now my hip is mad, but it's also probably because of the moving stuff. And my hips are bad. I have bad hips. I have a, what do they call it when your hips tilt the wrong way? And they're all out of whack. I have that. And I have scoliosis right where they connect. The spine connects to the hips. That's where my curve is. I have acute scoliosis. And I have a lot of back problems. <laughs> I'm uh, actually pretty lucky <laughs> with the uh, my mobility, in fact. But um, got lucky there because I, I basically say I ain't letting it stop me mostly. But yeah, the hip is she she's bugging me today. Cause it's just like oh, it's like a pull, and it's oh I can't find a comfortable place to sit and lay. <laughs> it's annoying. <laughs> but my tummy is so much better today. I'm so relieved. Literally, <laughs> literally, <laughs> but man, oh, I was miserable. Apparently, you know, your dog bar gets taken out, things change. <laughs> so, anyways, got the doctor's appointment coming up Wednesday, so we're gonna talk about that kind of stuff too. It's it supposed to be a girl checkup, but I don't think we're gonna be able to do that because lady time's arrived. <sighs> I hate being an adult, <laughs> I hate going to the doctor. I'm trying not to like have panic attacks about it. It, that is like one of my major triggers is medical stuff and having to go to the doctor and getting anything tested, especially girl stuff. Talk about nearly just have a heart attack because I have to do it. And anyway, I am feeling a hell of a lot better today. No stomach cramping and any of that anymore. So I think it just had definitely angered. My computer keeps going on and off because I'm not looking at it. This computer has like an eye tracker thing in it that when I'm looking away from it after a few seconds it dims and then when I look down at it or back at the screen it registers my face and like brightens back up it's the craziest thing technology man welcome to the 21st century <laughs> and it's a little like tech things like that that just amaze me just simple small things was well, not really simple but you know small little features what I think is like some of the coolest things anyway yeah that's the plan for the rest of the day and tomorrow evening I'm going to go back over and help Lila out some more around the house. So, yeah. 